Hi everyone and welcome to week 10. I am in my yellow this week and she is very chunky. I have changed a few things around. Um, just fancy a change so let's jump straight in. This front section is still the same. Sticky notes, my picture and then I have a birthday invitation and some stickers down there. This is journal in the home and just clipped to the back of that I have some vouchers, a little note, um, a receipt from the shop and then another birthday invite that I need to respond to. Then I have my dashboard from Royal Planner. My code is Nicola20 for you to save some money. Then I have my dashboard still. This is from my minimal planner. Then I have just some more cuteness and you go into my notes section. I have printed a few of these off. These covers are from Vienna. I'll leave her shop below. And I just thought they were super simple but really lovely. So. I do have those throughout my planner. I've got my trigger lists and then just some random lists. Well, mostly notes. Drawings from my littlest one and then some more notes in the back. Next is my list section. So again, I have my cover and then I have my reading tracker, my reading log. I'm going to put some packing lists on here. I just haven't done that yet. And then I also moved my home stuff into my list. So I've got my cleaning sheet and then my cleaning tracker there. And then my spring cleaning checklist. Next up, I have my collage of me and my husband. Just a little quote card on the back there. Then I have my goals section. So I just have my goals here and then I have them break, broken down um, into quarterly kind of actions there. My bucket list is there. And then some pictures. Next is my calendar section. So I've just got an overview from Paper Test Designs. Then I have my memory sheet, which is from Peanuts Planico. And then we get into my monthly. So I've just got um, oh, my birthday sheet here. So I just want to double check I have them all on my monthly pages. So that was February and then this is March. I do have the whole way of the year in monthly pages. Then I have my monthly review sheets. And I go into my PR calendar. So here I just um, list kind of who I'm posting for and what I need to do just to keep myself on track with that. Then I have my weekly section. I'm still using this insert from Planner Room Shop and I am really enjoying it. This is this week and I have a few more of those in there. Again, just some more cuteness. This acetate is from my shop. Below that is a freebie from Colour Cafe. This is a sticker from Etsy. Another little um, affirmation card. More pictures. And it goes into my daily section. So I'm still using the Day on Two page from SM Plans. This is today. And I just have one month of those in at a time. This is from um, Leslie Ann Made It. Some drawings from my kiddos. And then I have a, another dashboard from Royal Planner. These sticky notes here are from Planner Monkey Co. You can use Nicola 15 to save. And this is my just kind of to do and brain dump section. So I have these brain dump inserts, which I am really enjoying. I think I'm going to print more of these ones with two boxes on. 
and they are from Rose and Mist. Then I have a little work section, so I just have my shop to do's in there. Then I have my projects. I'm using the Paper Test Designs Task Manager for those. So I have a couple of those in there. Then I have some more pictures. And my self-care section is next. So I have just changed this a little bit. I did just print out an insert from Annie Plans. It's this one. This is a cover from a different one that I have and I printed out these mental health journal prompts so I've just stuck those in there and I'm going to work my way through those on this insert and then I have my mood tracker behind that then I go into my normal tracker and I'm just using this one by SM Plans I did pop this mood log in here as well but I haven't started it this week I might do that next week then I have some more self and um, self care things and I did purchase these from Vienna as well. So we've got self go self care goals, self care routines and then daily check ins. I also have some daily review sheets in here as well for if I want to do that. Maybe I've had a particularly hard day and I just need to you know celebrate some things some wins and work out some challenges then I have my gratitude so I'm still using this one and really enjoying it then it goes into my health section here so I just purchased this it is a fitness uh, planner from Etsy and it was in A5 side so I have had to kind of shrink it down a little bit so it fit but I just thought it looked really nice it's got um, some fitness goals a little transformation page a weight loss tracker uh, a measurement tracker a step tracker a sleep tracker and then some little reflection sheets as well and then I popped in the menu and workouts again. So I just have a few of those in there and then it goes into my health log and doctor's visit. So I'm just going to skip over those. Then I have my cycle trackers for this year and last year. I have my weight log, and my measurement tracker. Then I've got my workout tracker. Peanuts Planico, this little fitness challenge, and then just some health notes here. Then I still have this little insert in here, which I'm not sure if I will take it out or not, but this was from Annie Plans, and I was just kind of journaling a little bit in there. Then I have another dashboard and my finance section i have a bill tracker and then a daily spend tracker and then expenses sheet and last up is my kiddo stuff so i just have um, a calendar for them and then they each have a health log and then i also have a health log for our puppy as well and that's him and then I just have a page lifter in the back with a few pictures in that I want to add into my planner and then I just have my latest order from Planner Monkey Co because I want to share that on my Instagram and I haven't done that yet the back I think I just added a couple of little die cuts I've got some more stickers there and the back pockets are still the same. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, let me know and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching, bye.